Dolan once said, care not about what others say about your skin color, just let brighten your beautiful soul and dim their lights. Shh, today we are going to talk about skin color. Nobody wants to talk about it, right? But I want to talk about it because I have a story to tell to you. And uh, I'm coming from far away country, maybe you heard about, maybe you did not heard about, called Sri Lanka. Today when you read about the data, it's called Global Industry Analytics 2018 report. It says that the skin whitening products market going to be 31 billion dollars in 2024. Huge number. Behind it says billion. Why? Why can't be us? When you cut your body, is it going to bleed blood? It's red, right? And why can't I be me? Why nobody wants to go there and change your skin color? I frank with you, when I'm growing up in my culture, it was very, very different. I don't, did not do a research about it. How this skin color going to impact on people? or their mental health, but I read multiple studies and in the, especially in the Asian culture, they did about it. When I'm growing up in my culture, if you have a fair skin, you're blessed by the God. And you are very happy. You're going to have a bright future. For me, having this skin color, cursed by the God. Bad karma, no future, my husband there, but they said, I'm not going to have a man in my life. When I was very, very little, can you think about it daily basis you hear that? In your school, in your community, in your family members, every single person said, I'm not going to have a future. I do not know why, but same time, if there's a boy who has a dark color in my culture, they are the handsome boys. How come it's different? As a child, I never understood why and what. This is beautiful me. Am I ugly? I, yeah, thank you for supporting me. In that time, that era, we didn't have selfies to take it. This one took my mom, taking us to a small studio, this black and white picture. I have very limited pictures because when I'm growing up, poverty of one of the things we have to struggle. I did not know tomorrow I'm going to have the food. I did not damn care about my skin color. But do you see these beautiful eyes looking for a future? And can you recognize this? It's a cat. It's a black cat. When we don't have electricity or anything, what happened this everyday small batteries in our houses? Everybody in my culture call me everyday cat. Very, very sad. Some kids go there, hey, everyday cat. Hey, black cat, you do not know as a child how many times I cried. Still, like I'm getting goosebumps when I'm talking. Then you thought about my mental health. I get so nasty woman in the world. When people talk to me in my class, I was like, brush them off. Getting so angry. But there was one cheerleader behind me, that was my mom, always said, you are super beautiful, you're going to have a future, do something different. I was like, sometimes we her, sometimes not. You know how hard-headed when we are growing up, right? But this picture has so much meaning and my mindset changed. Why we use batteries? To get the power, 
right? I was looking at this picture so many times. I thought something about it. Let me get, not the cat, get the power. That's how I changed my beautiful world. I did not let anybody to take away my future or my hopes or my beliefs. Here, actually there are a few people did some researchers. This is Dr. Gupta and her team. They recognize there are a few things. Each culture is different. Look at this audience. We all unique. We all are beautiful in our own ways. But we perceived color in our skins totally different in our eyes. You look this girl. And this girl was always want to have something different in her world. Yes, this may be very first time. My dad died when I was three years old. In my culture, my mom never got married. I have a brother, I have lots of responsibilities in my family. Therefore, every single opportunity, I never thought about my skin color. You want to know what I did? I, as I said, I took that power, I started running. I ran like no tomorrow. When I'm running, I do not know where that power comes. It is coming from my body. Because you remember, multiple people said, I'm ugly, I'm black, I do not have a future. I turned that into positive mindset. Did I miss any slide? Okay. Here, these are all the beautiful awards I got. It. When I'm ra running, something very funny happening there. All the people said, I'm not going to have a future, and so they are cheering me. I was like, something there, when you go forward with positive mindset, Sometimes people also change their mindsets. I thought about that today a lot. I have my own uh, child today. When people ask in my community, say do not go in the dark because people cannot see me, only my teeth can see. Never wear black color dresses. People cannot see me. I love black and white by the way. And there are many things said. But my mom never bought me whitening creams. She gave me turmeric, sandalwood because I want to have a healthy skin. That's different. And why we buy whitening creams? I cannot still understand that. When COVID comes, when we are taking one life at a time, sometimes many lives, did they care about the uh, skin of the color, the skin color? No. When we go through pain, we go through pain as human beings. When we happy, we laugh. When we sad, we cry. Are we teaching our kids not to accept this diversity in the communities? What are we going to teach them? Still I'm asking my communities. Why we do that? Can we think differently? Is media has a responsibility? I'm thinking, why we cannot think differently? This is me. Look, without shoes, I ran. Because we have to understand some kind of a coping mechanisms to survive. Either you can cry whole time, I'm sick of crying. Therefore, I find my own way. You can do yoga, you can run, you can uh, sing, you can be your American Idol in front of the, uh, underneath the shower. Do whatever feels comfortable to you. Because we all uniquely develop coping mechanisms differently. Now, let's see what we can do about it. What I did. What I did was, I started talking about it. As I said, people don't want to talk about it. Right? First, you have to be comfortable with your own skin. Today, 
I talk about it. Why I am talking? There are maybe multiple silence voices there. I want to give the voice for them. You are beautiful, no matter what your skin. You have talents. Don't let anybody to destroy it. You have power within you. Not the media have that power. Your kids have the power to achieve the world, conquer the world, whatever the way they want. We all have a cell phones, right? Always we go to media. How about we start a campaign? Every individual is beautiful. Hashtag young generation is there. I'm not old generation, therefore I'm not a hashtag person. But we can start something. Why can't we do something positively? Can we ask media to bring some people who has the different colors in their skins, talk their positive stories? That is our responsibility. Give a voice to people who don't have. Today, this is that uh, girl, people said I'm not going to have a future. I'm Dr. Su Sugi today. I came, thank you, thank you. I wish you kind of people behind me there when I was struggling. I did not let anybody to take away my dreams. Therefore, my message to you is we all are having differences in our communities. That makes beautiful, beautiful world. When you are talking, make sure how it impacts other people's lives. Take one week. I had two miscarriages and I had my baby boy. Some people text me and ask, the baby is dark like you. I do not have words to say. It doesn't matter he is dark or not. I got my beautiful baby in my hands. Therefore, when you text, when you message, when you talk, just think about every individual. They may be going through some struggle. Their mental health, it matters to this world. Therefore, finally what I can say, identify resilience individual within you. What is your resilience factor? It will lead to achieve your dreams, achieve your goals, not the world try to pull you from your leg. Therefore, enjoy your life and be who you are and give the best to the world. Be kind. Thank you.